Hey guys, welcome to this video. It's Blake and today I'm gonna to be showing y'all my go-to makeup routine. No foundation, a little bit of lash, lip liner. So let's go ahead and get into it. I keep all my makeup in this little caboodle thing. So everything in here, I pretty much use on a daily basis. And it's been easy for me to keep like a routine with it all just in here. Um, and it like transports really easy. So just take that. I've tried makeup bags, but my all my stuff doesn't fit in a makeup bag. Like I want my makeup and my brushes to fit in like one thing. So I like the caboodle. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, let me clean my beauty blender. So I use beauty blenders. I've used cheaper, like more inexpensive sponges. And for some reason I always just come back to the beauty blender. Um, but that's just me. I do, I have used like other ones and they are cool too. And I always like to have like a paper towel to sit it on. I haven't done a makeup video in so long. I'm so out of practice. This used to be like my specialty. Um, and also I'm gonna get ready with me. Like, does anyone miss the get ready with me's? Cause they're coming back. I'm bringing them back. So I'm just um, putting on some lip balm. This one is all gone, but it is a Smashbox. The Mindful 5 Custom Lip Balm. The first thing I'm going to do is prime with the Smashbox The Mindful 5 Nourishing Face Primer Serum. This was sent to me and I have been using it and I like really enjoy it. It's kind of like a hydrating-ish, it's nourishing um, face primer. It doesn't do like too matte, it doesn't do like dewy or anything, but it is, I don't know, I really like it. I feel like it just keeps my, my skin moisturized and when I don't use it, um, I might have like a little bit more shine. So I just like to use this. And the next thing I'm going to do is conceal with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and Satin Finish. And I have used this all up. I used to be on the Too Faced route and this was just like my holy grail. But ever since I got this, which is only $6 from Target, I have just been in love. I use the shade Deep Cinnamon and it's just been like my all in one. So it's not too bright. So I can use it kind of like all over my face. So I didn't think I just dropped my Too Faced, but I really did. I really like how this looks. So I just put it under my eyes, a little here on my nose, this side of my mouth. I kind of use this as my concealer, corrector, foundation. I'm gonna put it on the side of my face because it's a little bit dark right there but I just use this for everything like that and I try to let it sit a little bit but I'm usually impatient so I'm just gonna go straight in with my damp beauty blender and I usually blend out the edges first and then I go into my face I'm not really a super full coverage I like like a little bit but I don't wear foundation all the time or I go in and out with using it because I don't like just a, too much makeup on my face. I don't like so much of a heavier look and that's just because normally I don't have that much to cover and my makeup look is kind of more everyday. I just kind of have one makeup look these days. I would go in and blend it up into my nose. I guess I could get a little closer and over my eye, something just like this. It's just like a little bit more even, you know, but I can still see my skin and I like that. Sometimes I feel overdone when I just have too much. I guess it's just not what I feel most comfortable with. So this is enough for me and I really like this. Sometimes I will go in with like a second layer under my eye if I feel like I didn't get it enough and then I let this sit. So next I'm going to contour bronze with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer that looks like this. And this is in the shade Deep Walnut. I really like this because it's very warm. I used to use a different product but I've been liking this. And before I blend that on I'm just going to blend my concealer again. Oh 
oh gosh. That never happens. Mm. Now I'm gonna go in, oh my gosh. Oh, it kind of rubbed off the concealer a little bit. That's fine. Now I'm gonna go in with this like stipply brush and blend out the contour. And I like to keep it high on my face because my, my face is rounder, so. Keep it high. I don't know why I put this on my forehead because my forehead is already pretty small, but I just like having like warmth on my forehead and on the sides of my face. And I put it on my nose a little bit, just like whatever is on the brush. And I usually have to go in and like blend the edges. Make sure it's even. Moving right along, now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Medium Deep. This is one of my favorite products. I've been using it for years now, and it just never does me wrong. So it looks like this. It is a color powder. Um, it's not like translucent or anything, so you have to pick like the one that's right for you. But just dip it in, get an even coat. And then I press it on the back of my hand to dab off the excess. And then I use this on like both my eyes. So it's not too much. And then I press it in until it's melted and all the way in my skin. And I like to bring my powder up onto my nose and over my eyelid. Press that in. And then put any of the excess like on my forehead and my chin and around my mouth to keep that bright. Make sure we get in the nose creases. And that's it. Close this up. Now I'm going to go in with my face powder. And I have been using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I've used this for a long time now and I've been on pan <laughs> more recently. So I just take a um, big face brush and get it all around. And put this just like on my face. Lightly, it's like, it doesn't have much coverage or color, just kind of evens it out. Makes it, it gives it a nice finish. It might like take away any of like the harsh lines. And I usually do take it over my, under my eye, just to make sure that it kind of blends in and it's not too bright. And that's it. Next, I'm going to go in with a powder bronzer and I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Instant Warmth Bronzer in Mocha Mommy. Very pretty. I got this more recently. This is one of this, this is one of the newer things that I've added to my makeup routine. But I just really love how warm it is. I've always wanted a warm thing, like a warm powder like this. And just a lot of brands don't make this, especially not in the drugstore, which is where most of my makeup is from. Um, but I have a few high-end products that I really like. So this is something that I really love, and I like to like kind of pack it on and just make myself look very warm. And I kind of bring it in as blush sometimes. I have more recently been doing my makeup in the in the bathroom under like this bathroom light. The lights aren't super warm, um, but it's not like it's different from sunlight. And I used to like to do my makeup like only in the sunlight, natural light, and then I used to only like to do it under like white lights. Um, but I've really been liking how it looks in the bathroom, and then it looks good in person, like in the sun too. So I don't know. Different lightings can like kind of. Do different things i feel like when i do it with like natural light i tend to be like a little less heavy-handed and in here i think it's kind of been a little bit more heavy-handed and it kind of creates a different look but i like it and then sometimes most of the time if i'm feeling like a little bit extra i'll go in with the blush and this is a light blush from wet and wild um, and keep it peachy and it looks like this it really is my skin tone so it's very subtle um and just like my bronzer, I take this like skinnier brush, smaller brush. And all my brushes are from AOA Studio from Shop Me Say. Or pretty much all of them. It kind of just intensifies the warmth. And I just kind of like a warm cheek these days. 
that's pretty much it for my face i don't really highlight anymore so now i'm going to do my eyebrows and i have the most simplest eyebrow routine i've ever had uh in my whole like makeup since i've been wearing makeup i have been using this elf wonder brow in the shade deep brown that looks like this and it's just like a eyebrow gel oh wait no it's called wow brow not wonder brow it looks like this and um it's just like a little bit spooly but it's tinted and it gives me like that natural brow that i like but it also it's just light and easy and i don't know but i really love it and i can just kind of do my eyebrows all with this but i have been using like a pencil so i'm gonna do that afterwards but i get like all the pigment with this pretty much and i just keep brushing and brushing until it gets as dark as i want it to i am i do try to be careful with this project because i have seen it like take people's eyebrows out or just like this constant brushing can be kind of um traumatic to your eyebrows i guess so i have been kind of thinking about not doing this anymore but for right now it's just like so easy and i've been into this natural brow for a minute now like over a year so this is just kind of the same like because if y'all remember i used to slick my eyebrows up with edge control and then just clean them up with concealer i didn't even fill them in but this kind of gives me the same look i just have to make sure i keep my eyebrows done they're kind of not done right now though and it's just like very natural just like this is my brow just with like a little bit of color and that's what i've been really liking like your brow like i i still really like a carved brow but i just like wearing my natural brow if I was doing like a beat face, I would definitely do concealer, but I don't think I'm going to do it today because normally I don't, um, only when I'm feeling like super extra. So maybe I'll do like another routine where it's like a beat face, but it's pretty much the same thing <laughs> as what I'm doing right now. Like I literally have one eye look. I think my beat face would be um, card brows and then a winged eyeliner. Like a dramatic or more, a more dramatic, dramatic -er. A more dramatic winged eyeliner but i just really feel like this is a good everyday brow i love this product so what's next oh so like i said sometimes i also have the eyebrow pencil from elf and sometimes i will do my eyebrows myself and take off too much or just need to fill it in or sometimes i want like the arch at the top to be like a little bit more but today they look good so i would use this sometimes so this will be on something like if i wanted a dramatic more dramatic brow but that's it now um it's on to lashes so first i'm just gonna add some mascara i've been using the maybelline lash sensational and i use the very black color it just looks like this i usually only use uh, maybelline mascaras <laughs> excuse me and i just put on a lot today i'm gonna put on lashes because that i really do like that as my everyday look but if i'm doing like a quick look like i need my makeup done really fast i will also not add lashes i'll just do this mascara but i really prefer to wear a lash something whether it's like the individuals lash extensions or a strip lash i will i'll wear them as much as i can and i do the bottom too so i have like a 10 15 minute makeup look that looks like this and then I have my everyday look where like oh I'm putting on makeup today so I'm gonna do this look that I'm showing y'all today and then I have like a beat look where I might be going out nighttime or it might be like an event which I haven't done recently because I'm not going anywhere so but yeah this is like cute I can stop here but just a few more steps I'm thirsty so next up is lashes I like doing different lash looks sometimes so I've been into like the sometimes I'll get something like this I think this looks best on my eye shape where it's just kind of even all around so I'll do this like for videos or pictures and stuff like that and then I've been liking like the 25 millimeter like the extra long ones sometimes um, when I'm like more dramatic so with these I would wear these if I wanted to do like a winged eyeliner look so that's like more dramatic but today I'm just gonna do something like easy going and I'm gonna use these I don't have the packaging anymore but they just look like this 
like a medium not too thin not too thick i can't do thin because my eyes are too big it would just look like nothing so or should i do the extra long ones today nah i feel like the extra long ones look really good when my hair is kind of like big and um natural and like one of my like curly styles but with my hair straight i kind of feel like i just want to do something a little bit lighter so i do use hair glue I've been using this for a long time now and it just works for me and I put it on the back of my hand like this. And I try to reuse my eyelashes as much as possible so these have been used and then I just dip it in there and do like a light coat and put it on my eyes. Oh, the glue is dri um, dripping. Dancing the status quo. Okay, make sure they're on. They look pretty good. And to finish that off, I like to just add a little bit of eyeliner to, on top of the lash blend. So I'm gonna use this e.l.f. H2O proof eyeliner pen. I don't know if it's H2O proof, but it's easy. It's just like a felt tip. I used to use gel in a pot. But this is like so much easier. And if you can see, I like bring it in all the way into my inner corner. And that's it no eyeshadow or anything i have become like such a no eyeshadow person i used to love eyeshadow but now i just don't wear it anymore if i'm kind of trying to do like a look not i might try but it's definitely would be in like my beat face category <laughs> so this is like the middle this really just can take you anywhere it's like the, i don't know i just love this and it's what i do pretty much every day i do want to go back sometimes i have this um bronzer that I got from like Sean Messe a long time ago and sometimes I like to add it to like it's got a little shimmer in it and if I want just like a little bit of dimension like a little bit of highlight but it's not like a super highlighter but it adds a little bit of shimmer okay so last thing is lip and on a normal basis I'll do my brown lip liner so I'm using the kiss professional luxury and Tits lip liner in dark brown that looks like this. Lately I've been filling in like the top pretty much all the way. Oh man, I'm out. This is like the second one that I've gone through. And then on the bottom. This is the line. On the corner. It's all gone now. Hold on. I have one that looks just like this. So that's gone. I ran out. But I have another one. Or I thought I did. I'm going to use this one. This is a Morphe liner in Bar Bar. Trendsetter vibes are all really nice browns that I like from Morphe liners and I think they're pretty cheap too. They're like $5. I need to get some more. I get the, um, the Kiss one from the Beauty Supply. I haven't really seen it anywhere else. So this is just like a medium brown one. Trendsetter is darker brown and then Vibes is warmer. So. I'm gonna use this to finish the bottom. I always kind of mess up the bottom, so I have to like clean it up sometimes. But you don't have to do this. So yeah, fill in the whole top and then just do like a line at the bottom. 
and that's pretty much it over time i usually do gloss so i might add a gloss on top of this most of the time like the matte is kind of what i do though and then yeah that's pretty much it this is just like my go-to look something quick something that like i don't really have to think about i just do it yeah i don't really do setting spray anymore because i just kind of like a matte face and then it just kind of warms up as the day goes by but i really like how it looks like right at the beginning so i don't add anything um but i guess that's it i feel like it goes by really fast i think normally it takes me if i didn't have to do lashes it was it would really be like 15 minutes but with lashes it might be like a 20 minute 25 minute routine no eyeshadow no foundation so i feel so much better my mom tr helped me trim it for me usually i do it myself but it just wasn't cutting it so she helped me and it feels so much better all right y'all so this is the finished look up close This is my go-to makeup routine. If I'm doing makeup, this is what I will do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.